Shalom Aleichem, Parashat Shmini. In this week's parasha, we are being exposed to a very painful incident. Nadav and Avihu, the children of Aharon Kohen, died inside the Mishkan while trying to do something special, unique for Hashem. They wanted to serve and to sacrifice, but they were doing it voluntarily. They were not called by Hashem to come, and the commentaries are adding that they did it after drinking wine. And even though we believe that their intentions were pure, and even though we believe that their way to use wine only for spiritual elevation and not for any selfish reason, just simply to be drunk, but with all their purity, with all their holy intention, they wanted to rise to levels when they were not called to those places by Hashem, and for that they were punished and died. How important it is for us to understand. There are levels that are higher than you, higher than your ability to grasp. To think that you belong in those high places, high floors, it's actually to throw your logic and your true understanding of your level and condition and to base your decisions on your wishful thinking, on your desire for growth. But listen, it's not what Hashem wants. Hashem wants your simplicity. Hashem understands the difficulties you're going through. He's not expecting you to rise to levels that are beyond your reach. He just wants you to sit and be happy in the day of Shabbat, in the high holy days, keeping the most beautiful mitzvot in joy. We're meant to serve Hashem in great happiness, feeling good with ourselves, learning to lie in places where our heart desire to enjoy Hashem, to feel pleasure while serving the Maker of the world. So please, don't follow the advice of the Yetzirah, of the evil inclination, that try to show you, no matter what you achieve, that you have not achieved enough. No matter how good are the things that you have, He wants you to think that you have not accomplished the most beautiful things in the world, but you did. You have faith, and the Maker has faith in you. Im ta'aminu, te'amenu. If you will believe in the goodness of Hashem, you shall be believed. People will follow your light, and Hashem will show your greatness. A rich person is the one who is happy in his share.